Hey, my man. Hey, my man. Yo. Yo, my dude, let me get that donut. Now, and now you dropped it. Now you dropped the fucking donut. Now I can't even eat it. For a second, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, test your BAC. Whoa, who the fuck? Stop. Dude, stop running, bro. This guy, this guy in the back is hornier than any guy I've ever seen to the point where he's gonna go ahead and put his hands on me to impress you. He's got a playboy on him. You're walking around with a dildo like you're all fucked up, but you're just apparently like this. So I'm gonna go against my judgment, and since I'm bored, I'm gonna see what kind of match we might be able to come up with. Can't say I'm too happy about today. Um, oh, well, that donut made me pretty happy, but yeah, starting my shift. Got in a little bit of hot water with the uh, captain. Uh, I lost a door on a traffic stop a few days ago. It wasn't the worst shift in the world. I mean, I got some big busts that night, but you know they don't really like it when the doors get ripped off of cruisers. So again, there's positive. I got a new car. This bad boy is beautiful. Uh, I am very excited about this. Uh, but the downside to having this beautiful car is for a week I am on Peer Patrol, which is the fucking worst thing ever. Uh, like ever. So, yeah. Basically just going to deal with a bunch of drunks and... Uh, Jerk offs today, so let's hope, uh, let's hope it's not too terrible. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. All right, so time to start this thing off. Shift for today. Give me a coffee. I'm gonna need it. I wonder if they have coffee at this seafood place. And if they do have coffee, should I drink it? Oh, this is what I needed. This coffee actually isn't that bad, considering it came from a seafood place. Uh, my life is the worst today. I hate working the pier. I really do. Just standing here with my thumb up my ass. There's not really much you can do. It is a Saturday, so... You know, maybe we'll get into some cool stuff. Maybe somebody will act up. Somewhere over the rainbow, suspects roam. I will shoot them in their fucking face if they try to run. Tomorrow, right? Never been afraid to say what's on my mind at any given time of day. Nah, fuck that shit. I'll fall through later. Hey, my man. Hey, my man. Yo. Yo, my dude, let me get that donut. Hey. Yo. I said give me that fucking donut, bro. Jesus. I ain't slowing ahead. I said give me the donut. Sometimes people just don't recognize what the fuck's going on. Now, And now you dropped it. Now you dropped the fucking donut. Now I can't even eat it. Yeah, get out of here. Don't come back out here. If I see you out here again, we're going to have some issues, buddy. Alright? We're going to have a lot of problems. Wanted that donut. God, I've been out here all day. Nothing, nothing has happened. This is the worst. Like, why am I being punished? Why am I being punished? Hey, my man. Hey. You want to race to the end of the uh, end of the boardwalk real quick? Bet you I'll beat you. One, two, three, go. Ah, you know better. Look at that. Woo! 
Yeah, baby, I'm the winner. God, I'm bored. What the fuck? Hey, man. Oh. Look, buddy, I've been out here all day. You just rolled up off these stairs, all right? I haven't seen you on the beach, all right? I haven't seen you anywhere. I've been here all day, okay? So, uh, you know, you know, what were your whereabouts before you came uh, jaunting up here? Two things to say. A, uh, that was a very long and brutal story. B, what the fuck does that have to do with what we're talking about right now? No, I said your whereabouts, now, not a walkabout. I can eat quite a bit. Okay? I, don't want any dirty looks when I, go back for I didn't say anything about a walkabout. All right, you know what? Just, right, then, just, Sunday. just give me your ID. Alright, Braden Savag. Is that Savag or Savage? How do you say that? Alright, well, listen, Braden. Well, I'm judging from your ID here, uh, looks like you managed to become a citizen, so congratulations on that. But in America, whereabouts means where were you or where where'd you come from has nothing to do with a walkabout Oof. you see her look at her jesus all right sorry anyway i need to run this id because again you frankly you're you're fucking a cre you're a creep and i don't know where you came from so uh yeah just, just stay here for a second and uh i'll be right back This fucking guy. What the hell? Alright, I, I gotta look this guy up in the system, because something going. Oh. Domestic battery. I fall. Okay, so. 2016. Over a buccaneer way at the terminal. Uh, domestic battery. Uh, he's been here for a while. And he beat her up in the morning. Alright. You know what? This guy, there's something going on with this guy. He's He's got, he's got a history. So, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to check this guy out. He's got a history in the system, so. It's time to figure this dude out. Listen, Brandon, I, I need you to chill out for me. Honestly, I don't know what your deal is, man. This might be a bad night for you, Brandon. Oh, Brandon. Oh, Brandon. All right, Brandon, you got a meth pipe on you, all right? Somehow, you got a gun permit. I know Australia has a problem with guns, okay? So, you know, I understand wanting to have one. Uh, I'm glad you're not holding tonight, but you do have a meth pipe, so um, I was going to take you in based on the fact that I had to listen to that stupid fucking story. Now I'm going to take you in because you have a meth pipe on you. You know? Not much gets by me, Brandon. Not much gets by me. Fucking knew it. So look, uh, Brandon, I know I said I didn't care and everything, but uh, to be honest, that walkabout story is kind of floating around in my mind now, and uh, yeah, the one part about, you know, I'm not trying to be your dad or, you know, counselor or anything, but you shouldn't do meth, Brandon. Been in this country two years and you're already a meth addict. So, I'm kind of curious, is the meth here like the meth in Australia, or, you know, is there a difference? You know, I'm kind of pissed off at you because you're 
you kind of put me in a spot that I have to take you in. And Shorty over by the cookie shack was looking really good. And uh, this is just a waste of my time, to be honest. Now, Brandon, I know you've been arrested before, uh, but I don't see any history of you going to jail. So this is a jail in America, and it's terrible. And I guarantee you will learn your lesson. Uh, so, yeah, just go ahead and get in there. All right, so have a good night, and, uh, yeah, go fuck yourself. I don't know why I became a cop. That's crazy dangerous. Who cares? I'm on my way back to the pier, because God knows there's so much going on over there. I didn't want to let him know, but I'm actually pretty excited that uh, he had a meth pipe on him. Give me something to do, because I was... Whew, I was... Fading fast. Now I gotta come back here. Deal with this shitty beat. God, I, I really do. I hate the pier. I know, man. That was insane. What was the name again? Hate the Whoa! pier. Alright. Oh, it's gonna be a long night. Not enough coffee in the world for this. Alright, I'm not spending the night by the cruiser. I, I I need to find something to do or I'm gonna lose my fucking mind, so Alright, I'm just gonna take a walk on the pier here because uh she's drunk as a skunk. Hey. Hey, slow down for me. What are you doing walking out here like that? Drunk as a skunk, it's obvious. Give me some ID. Marielle Erickson. Alright, hang out for me here, Marielle. I just gotta get your information pulled up on the radio here, and uh, we're gonna see what's going on, and if everything's okay, I might let you go. Dispatch, uh, can you do a uh, information report on the one Marielle Erickson? Alright. Well, the good news is you don't have any outstanding warrants, so... Uh, there is bad news though. I'm gonna have to detain you for a second, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, test your BAC. Whoa! Who the fuck? Get back here! This son of a bitch! You gotta be kidding me! Get back here, you motherfucker! This fucking guy! You gotta be kidding me! Stop! Dude, stop running, bro! I don't know what you think's going on here, dude! I don't know what the hell's going on with you. You got a big problem, buddy. Let's go. Such a girl or something, huh? What's wrong with you, dude? You are out of your goddamn mind. You know that? Fucking idiot. Push me. Dude, you're lucky you didn't get shot. You are so lucky that you did not get shot. Deal with this bullshit today? I don't want to deal with this bullshit. Stupid fuck. What the? Dude, like, seriously. What were you thinking? Making me run, chase you down. What are you thinking pushing a cop? What are you thinking pushing a cop, dude? What are you thinking pushing a cop? Like, honestly, what's what's going through your head? What, do you like this chick or something? This your girl? Your girl? You got a control issue. You got some type of anger issue. I, I don't know what it... Maybe you're on drugs, but... You know, there's a whole bunch of charges that you're about to get. Do you understand that? You know. Yeah, well, you like her so much. Uh, here you go. Now you can hang out with her. Alright. I'm gonna deal with her later. I'm gonna take care of you first, tough guy. Playboy magazine and a ballpoint pen. You got what do you get what are you doing with a Playboy on you, bro? Huh? You know. Yeah, you got you got some serious issues, my man. Alright, come on man. You're lucky you don't have anything else on you, bro. You're lucky I don't take your ass underneath this boardwalk and beat the living piss out of you. You realize that, right? Nobody would miss you. You think people give a shit if you go missing? Nobody gives a fuck about you. Guy like you? Carrying around a pen and a fucking playboy? Oh, my God, dude. You're one of those types that just really needs his ass whooped real bad. Get in the fucking car. Yes. Fucking guy. I can't believe, like, 
Dude wants to get laid so bad, he was willing to try to take out a cop to get to this chick. In some weird attempt to save this chick? I don't know what the fuck this guy was thinking, in all honesty. Alright, Marielle, listen, that was kind of weird. Uh, so thank you for not running away, but I am going to go ahead and uh, search you. Make sure you don't have anything on you. Hopefully you don't have anything that's going to poke me. What in the hell? Alright, look, this is insane. You know what? Now that I think about it, you, you guys might actually work out. You guys might work out. So, I'm gonna do you both a favor. You have a dildo on you. And he's got a Playboy. So, maybe we'll make this work. Maybe we will, maybe we'll, we'll do some matchmaking here. Alright, Marielle, like I said before, uh, you looked a little intoxicated when I first saw you. Just blow into this for me. All right, it's coming back. You're not you're not intoxicated. All right, so I don't I don't really know what's going on here. Um, this guy this guy in the back is hornier than any guy I've ever seen to the point where he's gonna go ahead and put his hands on me to impress you. He's got a playboy on him. You're walking around with a dildo like you're all fucked up, but you're just apparently like this. So, I'm going to go against my judgment, and since I'm bored, I'm going to see what kind of match we might be able to come up with here. Alright, James, listen, I'm going to release you and Marielle, and uh, maybe you can take her to that seafood place. Alright, these guys down here, uh, they're up to something. I don't know what's going on, but we're going to figure it out. Uh, they're acting pretty suspicious over here, and... Uh, I have a gut feeling something's going down. This has a drug deal written all over it. Got a guy with a backpack. He's my target. Alright, he just made eyes at me, so... He sees me coming. I still have to lie down with a few more women. <laughs> Shit. Hey, what's up? Alright, listen guys, uh, I don't know what you're doing over here, but it looks really shady, so... If you're trying to get away with something, you don't talk like that to a cop, alright? Sit down, wait right here. You got a drug dealer written all over you, buddy. Let's see what you're carrying. What is going on around here? Still doing a lockpick, man. I don't know what you're up to, but you gotta hang out here. You alright, buddy? You looking a bit, uh, looking a bit weird, man. You look kind of fucked up. Hmm. All right, man. You got a uh, you got a prescription for these pills. You know, you got a needle on you. You know, uh, it's not looking good for you, man. Just chill here for me and check out your buddy here. All right, why are you hanging out with these guys, man? You're either a bad dude or you're. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, uh, you guys are. This is crazy. Dispatch. I need a unit sent out to me over at uh, the pier. You guys just sit tight. I got some uh, some buddies coming to take care of you. They'll get you out of here. Uh, yeah, you guys, you weren't doing a really good job of blending in down here, guys. You got to figure out a way to be, you know, way less conspicuous if you're gonna if you're gonna do stuff like this. Oh. All right. Well, that's me. Let's find out what's going on. Code twos are usually just either backup or you know just taking a report. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what's going on out here. This guy over here looks to be our our call in. Hey man, what's going on? You call for uh, police? Hey. Hey. Yo, you call for police? What the fuck do you think this is, man? Now stay down there and think about it. 
call for help, there's your help. Maybe you'll wake up. I just did that guy a favor. I just did him a favor. Woke his ass up a little bit. I don't even care what he was calling about. Can't get off your phone for two seconds. I just did that guy a favor. Hey, ooh, look at her. What's up, girl? Just play it cool. Just play it cool. Walk like a tough guy. It's just all over. Look tough. Hey, how you doing? Hmm. Damn. Well, my shift's almost over, so... Everyone! Everyone! The pier's on fire! Everybody run! Oh. Hey, I'm not really a cop. Hey, guys. I'm not really a cop. <gasps> hey, guess what? I'm not really a cop. <laughs> well, my shift is over, thank God. And uh, for a pier shift, it wasn't that bad. I mean... I still managed to make some good arrests, uh, you know, chalk that up to attention to fine detail and just being an all-around fucking rock star at my job, uh, but there's no, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this for a whole week, so me and the captain are going to have to have a little chat about this, uh, there, there's just no possible way I deserve this treatment, you know, I made some big busts that night and yeah, the car door got taken off, you know. You know, shit happens, all right? It's not the end of the world. But working the pier for a whole week, that is definitely the end of the world. I can tell you that much.